Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about male grooming tips. I have 10 male grooming tips which I found super essential for your daily routines. I think these 10 tips are gonna make you feel more comfortable, gonna make you look better. This is one of the first things people register and that's why it's super important. If you want to work with somebody, if you want to be friendly with somebody, this is some of the first things I recognize. So I would say let's start and get a little bit deeper into it. So the first thing you should do before we start all this, go and wash your hands. Why I'm saying that? It's super important when you're working in your face area, on your body, you should make sure that your hands are clean. There's a lot of bacteria going on, you're touching money during the day, you're touching so many doors. Make sure to clean your hands when you're really close to your skin pores or to your face or to your body because it's super important and your face or your skin can react on that. So the first tip I want to give you guys is make sure to cream your body hair always in the hair growth direction. This is something which is super important if you don't want that the hair is looking in all direction, maybe standing up. I would say it's super important what I do. I like to cream my hair in the direction where it's growing to. I also take care when I'm putting cream in my face that the last thing that I do is to make sure that the eyebrows are laying in the right position. Second tip, make sure to know which skin type you are. There's many characteristics for each skin type. So after you got this out, make sure to treat it rightly. Me, for example, I have a mixed skin type. Like I have a T-zone in my T-zone, basically in this area. It's a little bit more oily and the rest is very dry. So I make sure that I treat it rightly and that I don't dry it out everywhere. So maybe just in the areas where I'm a little bit more oily. Clearly, if you have dry skin, you need hydration for your skin. If you have oily skin, you need to exfoliate your skin. Make sure to exfoliate your face at least once to twice a week. And this is not just for oily skin. I would say something like that you should do definitely once to twice a week. If you have like a dry skin, just do it once. If you have a very oily skin, definitely twice a week. Because I feel like exfoliating the skin makes the skin look brighter, it shines more, it reflects more light. It also looks cleaner, so you don't have these black hats around you. I think this is something which just makes your face look a little bit fresher. There's two ways of exfoliation. The first one is a physical one, which is more like a scrub texture, so the formulation is a little bit more scrubby. And then there is a second one, which is more chemical, which is nothing bad, but there's a lot of acids inside, so the formulation is a little bit stronger on acids, which is also good. But I think, which is really good, if you have something, just check the formulation or check the product. Maybe something in between, which has a little bit of scrub and a little bit of acids. This is something I could definitely recommend. What I'm using is a product from The Grey, it's a Scandinavian brand. And I really like their face scrub. It's really good. My fourth tip is, you know, sometimes even if you exfoliate, your skin is not getting clean at these areas. For example, blackheads, they're very deep inside your skin. And you know what I like to do in between? I use these stripes, which are really removing the blackheads. So there's one special one, which I'm gonna link down below as the other product as well. This product is from Bior. It's a pore stripe. Make sure to put a little bit of water at this area where you wanna use it. And then you put the stripe on it, you let it dry, it gets hard and then you can just remove it and all the blackheads gonna be on it. So it's really effective, I really tried a lot of things, but this one is really, really good. Guys, this is something, never forget that. Don't grow crazy beers. Nobody likes that anymore, it's so out of fashion, you know? Just trim your beard, at least once to twice a week. And if you wanna grow it a little bit longer, and have it a little bit more cleaner, then at least clean up. But you know, growing it crazy, nobody wants it anymore. So please guys, I don't wanna see this anymore. Even like in the hair trend fashion, it's not trendy anymore. Trust me, long beards are definitely out of fashion. Make sure that this is clear. Sorry for that, but I had to take the camera to make it really clear. So my next tip is remove 
the hair on your nose or on your ears. You know, when you're a little bit younger, maybe there is no hair. But when you're getting older, surely there's gonna be a lot of hairs growing from everywhere <laughs> where you don't need them. However, get a tweezer, remove them, very easy, very fast, effective, and you know, nothing worse than people where you see their hair and the nose growing out. We don't want that. My next tip is for people who go to the hairdresser, really make sure to not grow your hair crazy out and then go back to the hairdresser. I would say definitely the longest time, and I speak because I know about it, at least four to six weeks. Because after six weeks, your hair has grown out, you have no shape anymore. The hairdresser has to make a new shape. And if you like a hairstyle, for example me, if I have a hairstyle and I like it, I wanna make sure that it stays like that. But you can't afford that if you go after 12 weeks back to the hairdresser and you're expecting that he's gonna do exactly the same haircut. It's not gonna work. So make sure four to six weeks latestly should cut your hair. And to be honest, I think this is something super important because the hair should always look a little bit fresher. And even if it's just the sides or the contours that you can cut a little bit shorter, it just makes the whole haircut look a little bit fresher. My next tip is make sure to put cologne on. You know, I think it's something, fragrance is super important. It's one of the first thing people registrate when you come into a room. And I think it's super essential. And you know, it's a reminder of a lot of things. There's so many people who say, Mo, I didn't know you're gonna come into this room because I smelled you from outside. This is something which makes me happy, you know. If you want to know what's my favorite fragrances, just check the link down below. I'm gonna link it. I already made a video where I'm talking about all the best fragrances that I would recommend. So just check it out after you watch this video. My next tip is, guys, make sure to manscape properly. You know, it's nothing worse than hair growing crazy. Just make sure this is fresh. You know, it doesn't have to be shaved all the time, but at least trim it, you know? Don't let it grow crazy, nobody wants that. My last tip for today is always make sure to make your hands feel soft. There's nothing worse than giving somebody the hand and his hand is dry and rough, you know? It should feel soft. People want to touch soft hands. You know, I would recommend put a hand cream maybe in the near of your office or somewhere where you really know you're gonna use it. To remind yourself a little bit around it, make sure to use a hand cream and really make your hands feel soft. This is something people recognize. One of the first things when you give people the hands, you get introduced to a new, new person, you give him the hand and he's gonna feel this soft, good feeling hands. I mean, right? Something important, I think. So guys, all the products that I've been using in my tips, I'm gonna link down below, so just check it out and you can maybe get it for yourself or just have a look on it. I hope you find some inspirations. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, by the way, if you haven't done this already, so I would appreciate it. I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.